Light is one of the environmental factors that affect plant growth. There are three principal characteristics of light that affect plant growth. These are quality, quantity, and duration. This video will focus on light quantity. What is light quantity? In the case of plants, light quantity is the number of light particles, called photons, capable of performing photosynthesis. Light quality can be measured in two ways. One, light intensity. This is the instantaneous amount of light received by the plants. Two, DLI, or daily light integral, is the cumulative amount of light delivered to the plants each day. The maximum amount of light in the northern hemisphere, which includes the United States, is present during summer months. Up to a point, the more sunlight a plant receives, the greater its capacity to produce food through photosynthesis. A single light intensity measurement does not take the day length or number of hours of sunlight into account. For example, in the northern hemisphere, if a crop receives 2,000 foot candles of light during the winter and 2,000 foot candles of light during the summer, the total amount of light, or DLI, received by the summer crop is considerably higher than the winter crop. The reason is, the summer crop receives 15 to 16 hours of sunlight, while the winter crop receives only 8 to 9 hours. Measuring light. Light quantity can be measured in different units including foot candles, lux, watts, micromoles per meter squared per second, and moles per meter squared per day. Micromoles and moles are the preferred units of measure for plant production because it quantifies the capacity of plants to perform photosynthesis on an instantaneous and daily basis respectively. Instantaneous light. Instantaneous light is usually measured in foot candles in the United States and in lux in other parts of the world. There are limitations for measuring light using photometric units. Photometric units are the instantaneous readings that do not accurately represent the amount of light plants receive during a 24-hour period. Also, photometric units represent the amount of light perceived by the human eye. This is primarily green light, which is the type of light plants do not absorb and only reflect. Green light is not used by the plants for photosynthesis. Quantum light. Another measure of light, called quantum light, is directly correlated to photosynthesis. Quantum light is also an instantaneous measurement. Quantum light is widely used by horticultural researchers and is expressed in micromoles per square meter per second. This type of light quantifies the number of photons that are used for photosynthesis falling in a square meter per second. Daily light integral, or DLI, is the sum of light delivered during the course of one day. A good example of understanding DLI is to consider how you would measure the amount of rainfall in a day. Using a rain gauge, you can measure the amount of rain that has fallen in a particular spot over a 24-hour period. For plants, if you wanted to determine how much light is available for plant growth, you would place a light sensor on the greenhouse bench and capture the light particles or photons delivered to a particular spot in a 24-hour period. This light measurement value is the light quantity, or DLI. Daily light integral is expressed in units of moles of light per square meter per day. DLI is the cumulative amount of photosynthetic light received in one square meter of area, 10.8 square feet, each day. Photosynthetically active radiation. Photosynthetically active radiation, or PAR, is the wavelength of light that plants perceive for photosynthesis. DLI is the amount of photosynthetically active radiation between 400 and 700 nanometers received each day as a function of light intensity and duration. Daily light integral is an important measurement for greenhouse growers because it influences plant growth, development, yield, and quality. By measuring DLI, you have a good estimate of growth that is expected for the plant. Measuring daily light integral. The DLI influences different aspects of plant growth. These include rooting and growth, seedlings and cuttings, time to flower, and finished plant characteristics including branching, compactness, stem thickness, flower number, and flower size. Greenhouse growers can estimate the outdoor DLI levels for their operations by locating their facilities on a DLI map provided by Clemson University. These maps show monthly outdoor DLI throughout the United States. Remember, these values are for the outdoors. In a greenhouse, the DLI values seldom exceed 30 moles of light per square meter per day. To approximate the DLI values in your greenhouse, you need to reduce the outdoor value by 40 to 70 percent. This gives you a rough estimate of the DLI values that your crop in your greenhouse are receiving each month.
The reason DLI is reduced inside the greenhouse is because of the shading caused by hanging plants, overhead equipment, pipes, and greenhouse structural supports. There are a number of ways that you can increase the DLI inside of your greenhouse. Eliminate or minimize overhead shading. Ensure that the greenhouse covering is clean by removing whitewash, dust, algae, and condensation. Provide supplemental lighting using greenhouse lamps such as LEDs, high pressure sodium, compact fluorescent, or metal halide. How to use DLI. Purdue University has developed crop specific daylight integral recommendations that are available online. Knowing the DLI is important because it influences production time, root and shoot growth of seedlings and vegetative cuttings, stem thickness, branching, number of flowers, and overall finish quality. Growers who monitor and record the DLI received by their crops can determine whether they need to provide supplemental light or shade their plants. Measurement of DLI can be particularly useful for growers in northern latitudes who are producing crops during the months of December through March. At this time of the year, the outdoor DLI can range from 5 to 30 moles of light per square meter per day. The light values can be even lower inside the greenhouse, from 1 to 5 moles. To get the most from your crop, measure the light inside your greenhouse. Measuring Daily Light Integral As discussed earlier, you can estimate the outdoor daily light integral levels by locating your operation on the DLI maps developed by researchers at Clemson University. The maps provide the monthly outdoor DLI throughout the United States. Remember that these DLI values should be reduced by 40 to 70 percent to provide you with very rough estimate of the DLI values in your greenhouse and received by your crops monthly. Choosing a light meter. Meters are now available that automatically measure the DLI being received by a crop. When measuring DLI, all light sensors should be placed next to the crop and kept at a canopy height to accurately measure the light level. The Light Scout DLI 100 meter and the Watchdog Weather Station are two mobile self-contained devices from Spectrum Technologies that can be used for measuring DLI. If using LED lights, make sure to purchase a light meter that has been calibrated to accurately measure monochromatic light. If you have additional questions about lighting your horticultural crops, please contact Hort Americas. Also make sure to watch for additional videos from Hort Americas on topics such as vertical farming, urban and controlled environment agriculture.